Okay, part two of investigating kinetic energy. So what this procedure entails um, is I have a ball of Play-Doh. They said to make it about three centimeters um, in diameter. So I did that using a toothpick. I stuck the toothpick into the ball and then I marked with a uh, pen where uh, the diameter ended. And then I took a, the toothpick to the ruler and measured and um, got it to three centimeters, the thickness. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our can. I'm going to kind of show you the ball here. And they want us to drop the can about 30 centimeters. So that's one ruler size. So I'm going to measure it like this. And then I'm just going to drop it onto the clay ball. So I will show you the clay ball. And I have the can. It's going up to the top of the ruler. And I'm just going to drop it. Whoop, and there goes the ball. Got it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to remeasure. I'm going to get a new toothpick. And I'm going to remeasure. Make my little line. And here's my ruler. And it is just shy of two and a half centimeters. So on iQuest, you have a data table, and it asks you to mark down, let me bring it up real quick, the thickness before, so dropping it, um, the thickness before, okay, it looks like this. Okay, so the thickness before for the dropping was three centimeters. The thickness after was two and a half. So the amount of squish is going to be the difference. So that's the part that you have to fill in. Okay, so now I'm going to reshape it, make sure that it's back to not being squished. Okay, and this time I'm going to kind of throw it. I don't want to throw it too hard that it would go into my iPad or the computer, so, but, okay, where is, oh, yep, the ball, so I'm going to take this again, lift it up about 30 centimeters, woo, and smush it, okay, so that time at least it didn't fly off the table, so again, I'm going to take a new pick, put it in, measure, this and get my ruler and that time it was about two centimeters okay so again on here the thickness before was the same three centimeters with this time we're doing the throwing which is the speed of the can is fast the thickness after is to about two centimeters. So the amount of squish again is going to be the difference. Okay. So this time around, the next table that we're going to do is the light versus heavy. And this time we're just going to do falling. Okay. So I'm going to reshape, make sure the ball is back to kind of round. My plate is a little dried out, but that's okay. Let's put it into a circle. And this time we're going to do um, on your table, again, we have um, canned mass, light, and heavy. So the light is going to be our cat can, cat food can. And on the can, flat out, it says 156 grams. So next to light, you're going to put mass in grams is 156. And then the heavy one, which is our big can of dog food is 374 grams. So again, light was 156. The heavier can was 374. Okay. Um, both times, the thickness of the clay ball is going to be three centimeters. So you can fill that in. I'm trying to navigate. Thickness before, you can put in three centimeters, three centimeters. And again, we're just going to drop this normal. And then we will see what the difference is with the cans. Okay. 
so I'll show you the ball. So we'll do the, I guess, nah, we'll do the light can first. So again, I'm just going to drop it. I'm not going to throw it like I did the other time. So dropping it onto our ball. Ooh, caught it. And another toothpick. And then we're going to do this. A little of that. And then measure. Mm, let's see. 2.8 centimeters for the light can smashing. So in the thickness after, for the light can, you're going to put 2.8. I reshaped it. And now we're going to do the heavy can. Again, 30 centimeters high. Just going to drop it and there it goes rolling again. <laughs> Surprised my cats aren't down here chasing it. And we're going to measure our line. And, and we are at 2.6. So 2.8 was the thickness after for the light can. 2.6 was um, after for the heavy can. And then you have to just fill out, again, on the chart, the amount of squish is going to be the difference between our thickness before and our thickness after. Okay. Um, then you have a little bit of an analyzing to do. It says for the data table or the data in each table, describe how um, the dependent variable changed when you change the independent variable. Okay. So we're going to try... Um, here, the dependent and independent, we're going to say, you know, the speed of the can was a portion of it. And, um, you know, the clay didn't change. So, um, I mean, we use the same clay for both things. So, they, it started at three centimeters each time. Okay. Um, on the uh, conclusion, it asks you, how does the speed affect the kinetic energy of a moving object? Explain using your, uh, stating your claim, your evidence, and your reasoning, your CER. Okay. Um, the second question, how does mass affect the amount of chemical, how, how does the mass affect the amount of kinetic energy in a moving object? So the first question was about speed. The second question is about the mass. Okay. So, um, and then you have one follow-up question after that. So this is part two of two. If you have questions about it, uh, let me know, but this is going to be your activity for today for, um, our second day of virtual learning. So, um, yeah, again, if you have questions, just let me know, but you're completing activity 2.2 on iQuest. If you have issues logging in, please, um, email me and I'll try and help. Okay. Till tomorrow.